Hi, in this episode I'll discuss the creating of rectangles and squares and this is the tool for that, also keyboard shortcut F4 and before I start explaining the options I would like to mention that by default Inkscape remembers your previous fill and let's create right now this object and you see this is green and it's also transparent and you can see the fill here and if you click to this fill and stroke tool you can see that we have some transparency here and uh, if I close Inkscape it will remember this fill and every time I start it I will start like this and sometimes if you make changes here you may be wondering why my objects are being filled like this so you need to go here and let's say make this in full opacity and close this and uh, if I change this to red for example if I close Inkscape now and next time I start it I'll be creating rectangles and squares with this color so have that in mind that the fill by default is remembered. Now let's delete this and the way we create rectangles and squares we can just click and drag like this and if you don't like this you can press the escape key to escape this creation also you can hold down the shift key to expand from center like this also you can hold down the control key and create a square and uh, down here in the status bar you get some information Let's click again the control key and drag and you see we are constrained to ratio 1 to 1. We can also be constrained to other ratio 3 to 1 and create a shape like that. Now once we have created this shape, even if we move to another tool, let's say the um, transform and select tool, we can move these objects like this, transform them and we can always go back here and do some adjustments to our height, width and also the rounded corners. Now this circle here allows us to control the rounded corners, the vertical, also the horizontal radius of the rounded corners and up here you can see this, this is the horizontal and you can enter let's say 100 pixels and for the vertical radius 100 pixels and if you don't want this to be with rounded corners you can also click here to make the corner sharp and again this is remembered by default so if I start creating new object right now I'll be creating this object with rounded corners click here to make them sharp now here we can choose the width and the height of the object let's say we want this square to be a thousand by thousand pixels with rounding corners, let's say 150 and 150 like this and uh, you can also choose to work with points, pixels, millimeters, centimeters, meters, inches, feet and uh, that's it for this tutorial hope you liked this video and if you did subscribe, like the video, leave a comment and bye for now